morning everybody how are you hope you're doing well we are finally at the back wall today um sorry about my hair i just got home from work it was in a hat um let's get right into it this is gonna be a love reading today not sure <clears throat> what kind of love reading it will be but let's start with some songs from your person to you Lauren Hill, can't take my eyes off of you. This could be your feelings for your person or your person's feelings for you. I haven't quite gotten into this just yet, but we have Lauren Hill, can't take my eyes off you. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. You'd be like heaven to touch. I want to hold you so much. At long last, love has arrived, and I thank God I'm alive. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. <sighs> a little obsession, crush energy, lusty vibes. Usher is you got it bad is playing in my head right now. I can add that to your playlist as well. Justin Timberlake, my love, because I can see us holding hands. Walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grass, laying side by side. You could be my baby. Let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me. Ain't gonna do nothing crazy. See, all I wanna do is be... All I wanna do is be my love. I'm getting masculine vibes. It doesn't have to be uh, a man. It's just whoever is in the lusty spirit here. Um, a divine masculine lusting after a divine feminine out here. Wanting to make it a fish. Official. <laughs> Beyonce, ring the alarm. Ring the alarm. I've been through this too long. But I'll be damned if I see another trick on your arm. <laughs> we all know this one. Won't... You ring the alarm. I've been through this too long. I'll be damned if I see... Yeah. Crushing on someone and like, Oh my God, I'm going to lose them. They're too hot. Someone's going to swoop in. <laughs> Diddy, I need a girl. Yeah, this masculine just wants this divine feminine. All right. So let's see. How's the divine feminine? That was the divine masculine's playlist, I guess. Oh my God. John Legend, green light. Do I have a girlfriend? Well, technically, no. Yeah, it's like, I like you too, but you're not making any moves, or this isn't official. Let me pause it. I don't know if I dropped one. I didn't drop any. Sorry, I can't stand up on camera. I'm about to go to bed, wash my makeup off, and go to bed after this. In my undies. <laughs> Not to be a TMI, but that's why I didn't stand up. <laughs> um, jagged Edge, promise. Nothing is promised to me and you. So why? Yeah. You haven't given me anything, any proof that you like me. You're not saying you want me. So this divine feminine's out here like, I'm, I'm looking for love. You ain't stepping up to the plate and I think the divine masculine's feeling the energy of the divine feminine just you know if you're not going to make moves I'll find someone who's ready kind of energy oh we got Rihanna's umbrella though they're sensing this divine masculine is going through something there's this element of I know you're going through a lot I want to help you but I can't help you if you don't open up to me if you don't come to me kind of thing. It's like you're not coming to me. So you must not want me kind of energy. <clears throat> My throat chakra is going crazy. Bruno Mars talking to the moon. They're looking up at the night sky. Morning dawn if they're up. Like really trying to figure out what this is. Why they can't um, seem to let go of you. They feel you divine masculine. They have no idea that you can't take their 
your eyes off of them. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Let's get some Moon Oracle. Since we have sides clearly drawn here, let's go the Divine Masculine. Glimmering. Seeing this Divine Feminine's glow up and being inspired to do the same. They're being awakened. They're getting zen. Um, this is like the passion just pouring pouring through them down to the Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine might be feeling that uh, <coughs> horny energy that's coming from your Divine Masculine. You're both feeling it. I'm not going to lie. This one popped. Let's see. Moonstruck. Look at Divine Femmes. That's you and the they're just gazing at you so lovingly, so affectionately. They want to pour all their love into you. Let it flow down to you. I think this uh, Divine Masculine, their love language is love making. They, they have a difficulty, like, a difficult time telling you their heart. So they, I think they want to show you how much that, how adored you really are through their passion. That could be like a passion project or like literal booty hoody. <laughs> if they can't tell you they're the one, that you're the one, they're gonna show you. We have witch's moon. Ooh, the divine masculines out there. Some of you could be trying to do some love spells. I always say this on my channel. Don't. Because you never know if that person it loves you for who you are or for the magic you did. I will. I, I, I would be very hesitant to continue a relationship with someone if I knew that they had done love magic on me. Because then I'm going to question my own feelings as well. Just avoid it. There's always consequences. It messes everything up. The, the magic of love in itself is enough. You don't need love spells. You don't need, like, I will never, this is why I don't practice being a witch in this life. I did this in past lives, like people coming to you for potions and spells and whatnot. You have no business doing that for people. That was part of my punishment, like, if someone comes to you and says, I want this person to fall in love with me, too bad. There's something called free will, darling. And that uh, that's included in the laws of magic. When you impede on someone's free will, as in the other person who is not consenting to this, you are disrupting the balance. But here, some masculines who aren't doing magic are <laughs> seriously contemplating if the feminines are doing magic on them or this is um, that spiritual awakening coming into some kind of spiritual gift um, feeling a spiritual connection to the occult which happens a lot when you are in a twin flame journey silver dollar uh, oh silver dollar <laughs> um <laughs> That's not the right word, but that's how I sang it as a kid. <laughs> I was always changing shit around. I'm not going to lie to get me down. <laughs> it's like, no matter, I miss my divine feminine, but I, I got to raise my vibes. It's like that lucky silver dollar in their pocket that's you, divine feminine. You're their luck. You're mirroring each other. There, there's that sexual energy. You're both wondering, am I so turned on by this person because they're doing love spells? I don't think either of you are. I just think you're like, what the fuck? It's got to be magic. If I feel this way, it's got to be magic. Well, it is magic. But it isn't magic that either of you cast it. This is natural magic between two gifted people. The sparks are like, <laughs> yeah, you're going to make a star child one day. <laughs> Futuristic. You're both star children as well as star seeds. That's why it's so intense. You've had past lives. You could be getting those downloads. 
All right, let's find out for the Divine Feminines. What's going on for the Divine Feminines? Let me give this a shuffle. Clear the masculine energy. First quarter, star child. Um, some of you could already have conceived a child with your person. Or this is like the first time you guys have sex. Be careful. It's a warning. A star child came out twice. You might even be having twins. <laughs> um, but this is like... This Divine Feminine is just starting to put put effort into their own. I think this Divine Feminine was really the chaser here, was really putting a lot of energy into this connection, at least spiritually. And um, they got to the point where they weren't getting it back, so they pulled away. So now they're focusing on themselves. They could be newly single, putting themselves out here. They could be starting something new. They could be in the first trimester of pregnancy. Or they're just starting to put the pieces together. Maybe they're just starting to figure out for some of you that you are their divine masculine. Or this is referencing um, they feel like it was supposed to take off and it never did. It, like, it, it started a little bit and then nothing there's like a stalemate or it just never went anywhere i could be wanting a new start super moon night owl toad and waning crescent so there is karmic energy here but it's not associated to either of you this is past life um people from your past life not wanting you two together in this life probably being a little bit ahead of both of you um seeing your what you're going to do together but something we just had a super moon um this divine feminine could have been man, trying to manifest you into their life or just love in general they're getting a lot of spiritual downloads this person is very wise spiritually um, they're very on to this connection that maybe you're going to have children or that you're both star seeds. This person um, is definitely into the occult. That's why the Divine Masculine feels like they're doing spells. And technically they could have because the super moon went under it. But I don't feel like this is to make a specific person fall in love with them. It was probably something like I did. Like I know I have a Divine Masculine out there so I would just said. Whoever my divine masculine is that will be true and pure to me and love me equally in return. I call them to me now. So they could just be calling you without really knowing who you are. Or just calling you in general. You could... <laughs> I'd be careful around super moons... Unless you're trying to get knocked up. But waning crescent. This person's love for you is diminishing though. It's as far as they're giving up. And it has something to do with this toad energy. It's part of. I think there is spell work being done on both of you. But it's not you divine mask on doing it to divine feminine. Or divine feminine doing it to divine mask. And these toads are your karmics or karmic family members, maybe not even living. Um, it could be uh, the evil. Yeah, blood on the moon and lion rampant. Sekhmet to come into the table. You're, you, you are meant to do something to be a power couple together. This is definitely twin flame energy. My face is itching. You're meant to do something so evil doesn't even want you two to get together. So there is dark underbellies here and it's not from either of you doesn't matter though you got your love is blossoming even with your apart you're longing for each other even if you don't know who each other is you're you're missing you're 
either coming to the realization of like, hmm, maybe I want a relationship. I'm tired of being alone. Or for most of the masculines, at least know who the feminines are. Feminines are a little bit on the fence, but I think it has more to do with either the masculine having other options or they just weren't. There was like runner chaser and divine femme's like, I'm not going to chase you forever. Let's get feelings and energies. Divine masculine, how are you feeling about the divine feminine in this connection? Salmon, very spiritual, very wise, very connected to the divine, looking up to the divine feminine in a spiritual sense, really seeing this person as a giver, a teacher, maybe even a shaman, praying mantis, just leveling up. They're a survivor. They're a, a great achiever. Um, but again, this is like a high priest, high priestess energy. go you feel you feel the divine feminine calling to you you feel the mating call for sure hawk you know you got to come correct that they're going to see through you they're trying to see the higher perspective of you you feel their eyes on you with all these birds Ooh, the dragon in reverse you know this person is your one but you're you um you're not showing it and you're recognizing the same. You know that this person is trying to hide the fact that they're the one. That's the higher perspective you, that this person knows about twin flames. And I think you're on to it even though they won't admit it or they won't show it. You do want a family with this person and you are protective of this person or you are protecting them from something. Worm, you definitely want to have sex with this person, but this is wanting to build but do it secretly, feeling the need to protect it. And bear in reverse, it's like, I want to hibernate with you, but I, it's like this person is giving you, like you understand the Divine Feminine wants babies with you, would defend this connection. They're very spiritual. They'd be super loyal. This is your flame, but you are recognizing that they don't want you anymore. But they're, you're feeling them pulling away. I'm not sure if you're accepting it or if you're fighting it, but let's see. Divine Feminines, how are you viewing the Divine Masculines? Roadrunner running away, running from in the opposite direction. Owl, but getting smarter, also seeing you as very spiritual. Spider, you're caught up in something, feeling stuck, or you're a bit sneaky. They feel like you're trying to catch them in the web, that you're uh, baiting the hook a little bit. Praying Mantis, again with the spiritual high priest, high priestess. You guys both recognize that there's a spiritual um, calling to each of you. Eagle, you guys both feel each other's eyes on you. You know that the other person is watching. It's like you're playing um, games with each other, trying to get each other's attention. Ladybug, feeling a little bit more hopeful about this connection. But turtle hiding in their shell. Not wanting to be rejected either again or in general. Well, definitely wanting that uh, baby in the belly or to put the baby in the belly. But I think it's more along the lines of, it's like you got the divine masculine looking at the divine feminine like this and then the the divine feminine seeing the future probably looking at her children like this or his children like this. So they're already like, I don't feel like it's creepy. I just feel like they're falling in love with their children before they even have them, which is cool. And I can understand that because I've seen my children in sleep. But I have a feeling that has more to do with 
the fact that I lost mine. And they're just trying to give me comfort. Let's see. Whoever is watching this, Divine Masculine or Feminine, let's get some healing advice on the table for you at this time to help you progress, oh my God, as a person or this connection. Too many. It's like the whole deck, Spirit. <laughs> Success and energy. You're going to have success at anything in your life when you give it your energy, when you give it your time. And if you want things that are equal um, and fulfilling for you, if something is not putting time and energy into you, you don't put time and energy into it. You're realizing how much of a gift you are or you should be at this time. Nobody deserves your focus not even divine feminine divine masculine if they're not giving you the energy be protective of your energy you are a gift success is coming to you in this connection whether you see it or not i think right now is just focus on every day and seeing the beauty in it and being thankful because you do have a lot of good stuff coming in even if you are going through a hard time just keep your energy positive. Keep your focus on what you really want. Stop giving your energy to things that no longer serves you. So I'm going to pull my image deck now. I'm going to do Divine Masculine. What are they dreaming about, hoping, daydreaming about? These are, again, just images to help show us how they're thinking and feeling. And I will interpret them for you. All these images I got from like Google Images or Pinterest. I didn't do any of the art. It's just to help me channel. <laughs> so yeah, there's that sexual energy. But that fun, playful side too. It's like going out to the club and coming home and having... <laughs> Not necessarily like super drunken sex, but like having a hot night out and coming home and having a, not, a hot night in, if you feel me. Hanging out, cuddling, telling each other your dreams and your hopes and your wishes, confiding in each other. I'm sorry, this is Divine Masculine, by the way. Being very sensual, skin to skin, chest to chest, cheek to cheek, bearing your soul to each other. Hanging out, jamming. Being homebodies, getting to know each other, or just uh, being protective of this relationship, nurturing it. I think they picture you at home a lot because there you are playing. Friendship. You guys can hang out in this person's mind. You can hang out and be best friends, but at the same time, that passion, that fire... It's like husband, husband, wife, wife, husband and wife who have it all. Like, could work together, have the babies, have the friendship. <laughs> There's that uh, masculine energy of wanting to dominate in the bedroom. But that playful side. Maybe you guys role play or just have a very kinky, fun side to you. Let's see how the Divine Feminine is daydreaming, thinking, and feeling. <laughs> they just want to like surprise you um or this is like them like maybe they're acknowledging that the masculines aren't very affectionate and they're like i don't care i'm just gonna hug and squeeze you all the time <laughs> they're very affectionate and you don't know how to take it but they find that adorable they're gonna they're gonna find ways to to sneak squeeze hug you until you're comfortable with it <laughs> it's cute Although, they're, they got the same kinky energy that you have. And also confiding in each other. You guys are cute. You're daydreaming about, about the same things. Where'd you go, card? Oh my goodness. Don't make me stand up in my underwears. <laughs> Ooh, very sensual as well. Skin to skin, cheek to cheek. Literally the same stuff, guys. Hey. Oh my god, same card. Yeah, you guys are mirrors for sure. <gasps> yep. Playful energy. Taking care of each other if you guys travel or work. 
It's like you're happy to see each other, sad to see each other go. You both see each other getting married to each other. Like, yeah. This is long term for sure. I don't know when and how this is coming together, but it's going to work itself out. Let's see. Let's go to this one. What do we need to know about past energy to transmute? Let's talk about Divine Masculine. Access your gifts and manifest your dreams. You got 22 again and number 10. So in the past, you were um, completing whether you're going to, you were making the decision whether you're embracing your gifts or whether you're ignoring them. You chose to embrace them. You're trying to manifest the life that you want. See that happy family life and boo-boo, you're going to get it. But you had to access your gifts. You have to give in to these gifts. So if you're not um, currently digging into the... It could be anything. You could be interested in tarot. You could be interested in Reiki. You could be interested in witchcraft. or Whatever is pulling to you, that's what's right for you. Everybody's different. Moon magic, water, anything like that. There's no right or wrong. You really got to decide that for yourself. And I think you have in the near future. But that was difficult. You might have had to walk away from belief systems that you grew up in. Or um, maybe you were scared of it. But I do feel like you are gaining speed um, as far as manifesting. But I think you had a lot of blockages with your manifestations. Or you were manifesting the wrong things because of negative thinking. So Divine Feminine in, in the recent past, what, oh my goodness, they're all going down there today. My abs hurt from work. <laughs> Stargate of Lyra in Mahatma, Mahatma Energy. So Divine Feminine, you were also connect, I think you were already open to the occult, but you were like connecting to your alien side. Maybe you were more embracing star seeds and twin flames in the recent past. Working on body issues, being comfortable in your own skin. I think you really had to um, step up and, and look at yourself and decide what you didn't like and what you wanted to change. These are making hard decisions about yourself and your life and what you believe in. And I feel like that's... Um, true for both of you here all right that's freedom of truth you are both in the recent past learning how to express what you really want and who you really are to the people already in your life or to yourself so let's talk about current energy current energy for the divine mask on what's going on in their life Right now, currently, my ears are ringing and itching. So this is a very spiritual connection. You play in the 5D, your star seeds yourself, your higher selves are even coming through. Food meditation. Um, you're both working on health and fitness, like not necessarily getting your just your bodies together, but getting your life together, just for love in general in the next chapter. You're making healthier choices. You have healthier minds. Even if you're still in rough spots, you're in a healthier place than you were in the recent past because you're both coming into who you are. Yeah, you both have eyes locked on your future, um, the body you want, the life you want, the person you want. You're looking at it, the divine and you're trying to manifest it. No longer questioning what you want. Um, Maybe questioning how you're going to obtain it. Initiation. Yeah, you're both being initiated in the spiritual realm. Earning earning those uh, spiritual ascensions with your spirit guides and your spirit teams. You're leveling up on, on your own ends, preparing to become this power couple. Yeah, you're focusing on your own bliss and making yourself happy. Because the truth is, if you can't make yourself happy, you can't be happy with anyone else. This is something you both had to learn. 
and you're currently recognizing and working on, which is beautiful energy. This is all good stuff, positive mo movement. Miracles are on the way because you guys are doing the work. You guys are connecting in the 5D. You're putting energy into fixing your life and making cuts to things that don't serve you anymore. You're restoring and healing yourselves. You guys are getting ready for this love, preparing for it. I think you both have eyes locked on each other or just locked on the same idea of love. So spirit's pushing you together if you don't know who your person is yet. Peace will be made if there is any beef here. Right now, all of that is deading away in the 5D. Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, whatever hang-ups you had in the past life, whatever hang-ups you have in this life are being deaded so that union can come and peace. And I think you're feeling a more peaceful energy from each other. Anything else about the current energy that we need to know at this time, Spirit? For both of you for this connection you got the love what you want wants you the person you're thinking of right now is also very much in love with you you guys are thinking of each other you spend most of your day communicating in the 5d realizing it or not there could be third party as well because there's three faces so some of you could have to make some cuts to relationships you're currently in for this to get off the ground. So we have Child of the Cosmos. Some of you are currently pregnant with this person. This could have been like a one night stand that you, you could have had a, kun, a kundalini awakening during this one night stand and made a baby and like fell in love with a one night stand. That's not going to be true for everyone, but it's true for someone. Um are currently um the the cosmos is preparing for you guys to have preparing for you guys to come into union because you're meant to have a child i definitely see spirit babies all over you guys but um children could be a factor here if you guys both have children with other people um or this is just bringing out that childlike energy so that you can raise your vibrations star brothers so the mask you're both in masculine energy right now conquering conquering your worlds earth pulsing you're both slowing down and tuning into yourself and your healing you're you're on a pause you're in separation because you're healing from past wounds, past traumas. You're getting rid of any toxicity, any bad habits or bad behaviors that could cause this great life you're about to have with each other. Doom. We don't want no doom and gloom. So you're, you're both shedding it, which is great. Trust the timing. Yeah, you've both given it to the divine. Hoping and praying that you wind up in each other's arms one day. And I think y you both know that there just isn't anyone else that's going to ever suffice. At least in this present time, that's where you're both at. So let's talk about what is going to be coming in for you in general in this connection. And then we'll talk a little bit about the future. This is what is your destiny together. What are you going to accomplish together. So let's take a peek. Want it to pop. I'm going to take it. You're both putting effort <laughs> into each other. There's a complete end to the cold shoulder um, and not putting energy into this, at least, even if you're not in communication. Yeah, this is a spiritual partnership. You're meant. You are meant to. So that's why the effort is happening in the current energy. You're both taking leadership of your own life. So that you can take leadership together as a power couple. You have to be a power in your own right to then come together and be a power couple. So you're both both working with spirit to become your individual powerhouses and to do that healing work. But you have great compassion because you're understanding. You, Divine Feminine, understand that Divine Masculine is in their corner healing. Divine Masculine is understanding that the Divine Feminine is in their corner healing. You're both hoping that you wait for each other with the 6699, it's an overlap. It's the same hopes, the same fears. 
You do have new beginnings coming. You, whether you had something in the past or it never got off the ground or it's a new thing altogether, this is coming into fruition in the near future. But you need this time out to be your own power. Well, let's see what's going to come after this time out. Anything else we need to know? Overall, for your life together. Financial discipline in reverse. I feel like you're going to be freed from like any financial burdens. This is like financial freedom. So you're going to be your own boss, entrepreneur, make your own money. Maybe like be a YouTuber, work from home. You're not going to be financially dependent on each other or anything. You're going to be successful and be free of that. So like any financial difficulty, you're not going to be fighting about money. Maybe in past lives or other... Ooh, music. You could do music together. Maybe that's what's freeing you. And patience. Yeah, it's going to... Um, I think you're going to teach people forgiveness and patience. Your love story and music. It's like you're going to tell your love story in music and it's going to heal the world. You're involved in music in some way or art in general, which makes sense for my collective. I am in the artistic group of Twin Flames. So let's talk about near future. What's coming in the near future? Let's say by the end of the summer. Revision. Yeah, you're both reworking how this connection is going. No more half-assed, not telling each other how you feel. It's like, even if it's subliminally or in a very soft way, you're both communicating to each other. You're both in everything you do, letting each other know that you're either headed in that direction or, you know, every if you don't know each other yet, everything's pushing you two together like magnets. Everything about you is changing, though. What you want, what you thought you wanted, what you needed, all that's changing. Yeah, you're, you're crafting your gift. You are honing your gift. Some of you, it's music. Some of you, it's in the occult. But this is what you're working on right now. And in the near future, you're going to be teaching that or using that to make money. Yeah, it's going to change your life. This is like a new career. This is like you guys building something together. But it's going to be slow. You're going to have to take your time with it. This is like entrepreneurship, building a business. You have to do it in slow baby steps. But you guys are going to be very productive as far as like you're going to have children right away. You're going to have an abundant love. Like that's just going to continue to grow. But you're also building like a business or an empire of some kind. Repetition. Finally, it's like some of you, all you really longed for is stability and balance and somebody that can work with you. And it might not be a solid plan every day, but it's working for you. This is a balance to your life by, the, by you two either coming into communication or just balancing your sides out so that you're calm. Yeah, you're getting clarity on when and how to move in the near future. Close out your reading with tarot. Again, for near future, anything else we need to know? The chariot and seven of cups. <laughs> Someone's coming. Um, a lot of options are going to come in fast um, for one or both of you. Just make sure that, you know, you don't settle for the wrong things. But I think someone's going to be coming in fast with a lot of... Um, Options as far as work, this might start as a work thing. Or someone is hoping that if they start a project with the other, that love will come into it. It might be a way to get you two together. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, something about work here. Or you guys' love um, is quickly inspiring you in an artistic way, which is helping you financially in the near future. Like this could be um, you finish a bunch of art really qu quickly because you're so in tune to this person and, and so turned on that you have an art show and it's it like happens really fast and it ends up being really fruitful. Or 
to me, this is moving fast and putting energy into it. Justice and the sun. Getting that second chance. Forgiveness. Having a sit down. Telling each other how you feel. Happiness. You're both getting happy news from each other. You're both going to be happy with the outcome in the near future. But overall, I see you putting energy and in quickly into each other. Quickly moving towards each other. No more moving apart. Six of cups. Yeah, you're... Some of you have to end some karmic stuff or there's going to be karmic interference. Knight of Wands, they're going to be immature assholes um, trying to put roadblocks in your way. Don't worry about it. I see you overcoming it with the sun and justice. At the same time, you might come together before you're fully healed um, just because it's so intense. And it's okay to start things before you're fully healed as long as... You're going forward in the right direction. You're not holding on to, to past people. You're not still in love with other people. But we have the High Priestess and Page of Wands. Yeah, to me this is like you two. I don't care if it's too soon. I don't care if everybody freaks out from the past that I moved on too fast. I, For some of you, I just see you like having babies and getting married really fast and starting this life really fast because you know like it's love at first sight or you just in, like a kundalini awakening like you guys have sex and you're like I'm done having sex with anybody else in the near future <laughs> I hope you like this one it was super intense I have to go to bed I love and appreciate you guys so much I'm probably going to take tomorrow off as far as readings I might shoot out another poem on my break that might become my thing just a little poetry hour <laughs> I only get 45 minutes for a break by the time I eat my lunch it's like and get to my car it's like 25 minutes <laughs> they bump my gums so I always write it and if I have time I'll, I'll film it instead of posting them in the community boards so if you like my writing and you're into it um I am going to be putting out more of that. I don't know for how long. Because um, that's not like my MO on this channel. But I don't really have one MO. I'm a hodgepodge kind of person. Jack of all trades. I have a million interests. I'm an artist of all kinds. <laughs> so I, I don't think you're just going to get one thing on this channel. So if you're not into it, just let it pass by. And just keep on with the things that you are into. And let me know what you're into so it stays around. And, um, you can let me know by liking, subscribing, sharing, talking to me in the comments. I appreciate you all so much. I love you all so much and I'll see you again soon. Toodaloo boo boos boy!